The last quick topic I want to mention before we actually start on the content of the course is how you can get the code, the resources, uh, the downloads, everything you need for this course, uh, and just how it's structured. So the course is broken up into a bunch of different sections, and each section is grouped around some concept or topic. In the very first video of every section, includes a download link if there's any code. Some sections don't have code uh, that you know you really need. Some of them are more conceptual. Um, but if there is any code from that section, you'll find the zip file attached to the very first lecture. Uh, so download that. And then on top of that, the slides are available. If you're somebody who likes to have access to the slides, I can't imagine you actually want this deck of slides, but I've included them in the, the first video of the course if you do want this deck. But for the technical stuff, uh, if you do want to reference the slides, they're always available. First lecture, just like the code, first lecture of the section. Uh, and then there are specific resources, links to different downloads or links to websites I mentioned, tools that I showcase, interesting fonts and code pens. All of those links are included whenever I mention them in the course. So, you know, if there's a video where I talk about uh, Google Fonts attached to that, there will be a link, a resource to the Google Fonts website. So that's really how things are structured. Uh, in addition, that first video of every section plays a really important role. I know a lot of students don't have much patience for the non-technical content where we're not actually coding, but if you're someone who wants to take the course seriously and really try to get a job or try to get the most out of it, um, watch the first video of every section. Uh, I walk through the goals, but specifically I walk through what's easy, medium, and what's challenging in each section, and how much time a section should take you or could take you relative to others. For example, when we get to JavaScript, um, I talk about how you know an hour of JavaScript videos is probably a lot longer than an hour of CSS videos. The videos obviously are the same, it's an hour of each, but the amount of work uh, on your end may be significantly more when you're learning JavaScript for the first time. So pay attention to those videos. I set your expectations uh, as best I can in the very first video of every section. Speaking of which, it's time for the next section. Check out the very first video. Here we go. I'll see you shortly. Well, I won't see you, but you'll hear me shortly. Goodbye.